Hey guys, this is Anthony from Airstream at DFW coming to you from our 45,000 square foot showroom. I've got a brand new floor plan to show you today, something that just came out, something we're very excited about. Um, if you've looked at the Globetrotter in the past, thought it, was my, thought it might have been too small, not anymore. They now have a 30 foot Globetrotter. Uh, this is the new 2020 Globetrotter 30 RV. It is 30 foot 9 inches front to back. It is just a little over 7,100 7, pounds. It is just a little over nine foot six tall. Uh, lots of great standard features on this trailer. Uh, you're gonna get things like your, your power awning, that comes standard, uh, your window awning package. Uh, it also has the power stabilizer jacks, which is something you don't get on a lot of the other Airstreams. Uh, 15 inch wheels and tires. Uh, lots of great space on the inside, so let's go in there and take a look. All right guys, when you step inside, the first thing you're gonna notice is this, this floor plan is quite different than what you've looked at in the past, if you've ever looked at a 30 foot before. Wow, I mean it is way different. Um, if you're not a, a group that cares about a dinette, this is a great floor plan for you because they've taken away the dinette. You just have nothing but lounge. So great space for, for hanging around when, when you may run into those bad weather occasions. Um, great space if you've got a big family and you want somewhere for everyone to sit, you've got the ability to do that in this floor plan. And, and, and the appearance, we talked about this in other videos, but uh, the idea behind the Globe Trotter was is to bring those iconic Airstream curves to the inside. So you're going to see those curves in the cabinets, you're going to see those curves in the dinette, uh, you're going to see those curves even in the front of the refrigerator, which we'll look at in a minute. Uh, speaking of refrigerator, let's step back and we're going to take a look at the, uh, the new kitchen as well as the new newly redesigned dinette. So guys, when you're in your globe trotter, you're going to notice there is no shortage of space in the kitchen. It's got a nice, long countertop space. Uh, again, residential style fixtures. We've talked about that several times in other videos, but no plastic fixtures. This does have a, a pull down release as well. A uh, large single bowl sink, uh, which is great in an RV. If you've ever tried to wash dishes in a dual bowl sink in an RV, it's not a fun experience. They're too small. Uh, you also get a small trash can here in the back. You can use that for scraps. You can use it to uh, chill a bottle of wine if you want to. A lot of different functions there. With the Globe Trotter, they've also moved towards more drawer space. So nice large drawers in the Globe Trotter. Uh, that one there, as well as all this bank of drawers here. And lots of nice cabinets over top. Uh, like I said earlier, nice curved cabinets, um, very uh, contemporary in its design. They're backlit, so the lights automatically come on when you, when you open up your cabinets. It does have a mirror here in the back, so if you are vertically challenged and you can't reach the things down below or see what's down below, those, those mirrors really help you to be able to see those things. Uh, flush mount cover on the uh, cooktop, as well as a, a nice uh, recessed burner cooktop, something that uh, they, they, they borrowed from the classic, so uh, very easy to clean, very easy to maintain, um, still does a great job of, of cooking those things when you're out on the road. Um, convection microwave combo, so uh, in Airstreams we typically order ours here at Airstream and DFW with this option. Um, it's a space saver for one, uh, it's, it's two devices in one. So. It will microwave just like a standard microwave will, but it also will bake just like a convection oven will, will do. Uh, there's a broiler element in there as well. A little bit of extra storage here on the side. These cubbies are only in the in the classic. And if you come around over here, you'll see, uh, here's that new dinette I was talking about. And it's not a real dinette. It's really just an extension of the, the lounge. Um, this table is fully removable. So you can actually take this table away and use all this space for, for sitting. Um, again, if you've got a big family, weather gets bad, you want room for everyone to be able to sit around, you've got the ability to do that. But it also gives you all this window space. So um, really, when you're camping, if you can't be outside, you want to feel like you're outside. So with these windows, man, you've got windows all the way around the front of this trailer. Um, we do tend to, here at Airstream and W, order all of our globe car with the solar option. So um, with Airstreams, there's not a lot of options. Most things are standard on the Airstream, and that really just helps to lend to value retention down the road. Um, but those few options that we do, they do offer, we tend to get all those on, on the, the globe truck. And that's one of those things. So if you tend, if you, if you plan to do some camping off the grid, if you want the ability to, to boondock, um, that, that solar is gonna give you the ability to keep those batteries charged all the time, anytime that you've got sun. And since you've got a thousand watt inverter on this trailer, with the, the solar, and the inverter, uh, your things like your televisions, those will actually run while you're uh, while you're off the, off the grid, which is really nice. So one of the really neat things about the Globe Trotter 30 is this refrigerator. Um, it is the biggest refrigerator they've ever put on an Airstream. It's 10 cubic foot, so 
it's really large. Um, it is a compressor-based refrigerator, so if you've ever had the issues in the past of, hey, I own this RV and I want to go on a trip and my refrigerator takes 12 hours to cool off, you don't have that issue with this refrigerator. It's going to be cool very, very quickly, 30 to 45 minutes, just like a refrigerator in your house would be. Um, again, 10 cubic foot, so it's it's massive. It's even bigger than the, than the refrigerator that they put on the Classic, so lots of refrigeration space. Uh, where else you're going to be really impressed is this pantry. This pantry is massive. Um, it, it's, it's long, it's deep, it's big, it gives you tons of space. Um, you are uh, Storage is always a, a, a commodity on, a, on, a, on, a, on an RV, regardless of what you buy. You're really not going to have a problem with storage on this RV. But with this, in conjunction with this big cabinet up here, boy, there's tons of storage. Now let's take a step back and we're going to take a look at the bathroom. Guys, before we look at the bathroom, I want to mention this wardrobe. Again, huge, tons of space. A double door wardrobe, it's nice and deep. Um, if you want to go on a long trip, you're not going to have a problem with that because you got all the space to carry all that stuff with you. The bathroom on the 30 foot globe trotter, and I keep saying this over and over again, but it's huge too. I mean, everything in this trailer is really thoughtfully laid out and designed um, to give you optimum space in the, in the space that you have in this trailer. Um, the bathroom is wide in, in, uh, in comparison to some of the other floor plans. It's a little bit longer. It gives you a window. Uh, and, and like all air streams, you've got a porcelain stool. Uh, you've got an exceptional amount of countertop space in that bathroom and, and lots of storage in the bathroom as well. And the shower. The shower is, is nice and big. It's got a seat in it. Um, I, I'm a pretty big guy and I can fit in there very comfortably um, and, and, and take a shower and not feel like I'm, I'm trapped in a little hole the whole time. So uh, with, with the, uh, the skylight, you get a lot of extra light in here too. So uh, you don't have to worry about feeling uh, claustrophobic in your bathroom area. And if you're concerned about privacy, there is a drape in the front as well as a drape in the back. So you can close off this whole bathroom area and, and make it into one large private area if you want to. All right guys, now we're in the bedroom of your Globe Trotter. Um, this particular model is a twin bed model. Um, really the, the, the thing about the twin beds, uh, it gives you a little bit more storage on the outside. You actually have three storage compartments on the outside with the twin bed model. But in my opinion, it does give you a little bit more space in, in the bedroom. Uh, it also gives you a couple of nice storage compartments up here at the front that you do not get with the queen bed model. With the Globe Trotter, they do upgrade the mattresses as well. So instead of the standard spring type mattresses that you see in some of the other Airstreams, these are a Tuft & Needle brand uh, latex mattress. They're very comfortable. Um, they're very flexible. So if you like uh, firm, if you like soft, they're kind of nice for both uh, groups of people. Um, you do have some controls over the lights. So if you want to kind of dim the lights, lower those lights at night, you can do that. Um, all Airstreams, just in general, they use LED lights all the way around, so you don't get a lot of heat from the lights, which is, is nice here in, uh, in Texas. I, I didn't mention this earlier, but the 30-foot model is standard with two air conditioners. So um, if you're concerned about keeping your trailer cool during those hot months, you've got the ability to do that with the, uh, the two air conditioners. Uh, lots of nice storage overhead. You have two cabinets overhead to uh, hold all those extra things that you may want to hold, as well as a nightstand in between. There is USB control or, or plugs as well as 110 plugs uh, that work off of the inverter. So if you want to run your CPAP machine, you can. Uh, by the way, guys, this is offered with a, a queen bed option as well. So if you want to go that route, you can. Well, guys, that's the new 2020 Airstream 30 RV. It's a really exciting new floor plan for us here at Airstream at DFW. Um, if you want to see it, might want to hurry because I don't know when I'll get another one, but I've got this one in stock right now. If you don't love these colors, they do come in other colors too, so we can get that for you. If you don't love this floor plan, don't let that stop you, because I've got all kinds of floor plans. We've got them from 16 all the way up to 33 foot. We are in a 45,000 square foot indoor showroom, so don't let the weather stop you either. So come out and see us.